Hello everyone, in that video I would like to give some notes about uh, a way how we can see what is inside the packets that our computer is receiving from the Technocrean desktop through the COM port. So on GitHub Technocrean account there is a Technocrean tools repository and inside there is a source code and bin binaries as well for data display and data generator. So binaries we can see they are inside the release and it's quite easily to use display and I will use generator because I don't have uh, a real crane by hand nearby so I have data generator I have saved SGI it's a stream of a real packets that the desktop was sending or recording uh, so I'm running desktop generator to emulate sending to COM port 1. I'm using a virtual serial, serial port emulator to send to COM port and to read from COM port 1. So now I need to read from COM port and see what inside this packets. I need a command line and I'm running data display and then I need to like here we have dcom1 this is what I need to type dcom1 so this is the packets that I'm receiving right now and if I change the values you will see that there is the pan tilt roll zoom focus iris so this is the values that you're receiving from the desktop and if you're changing zoom focus iris and you couldn't see the correct values that means there is something wrong in your uh, desktop setup maybe the values not calibrated or maybe there is kind of issue with the connection through the com port so it's quite important to be sure that the packets you are receiving um, they are correct so you have the track value if it's techno dolly you have the pan tilt roll and you change on a camera these values and you see the result here is also changing right now i stop it but then it could be continuous so this value should be changed when the packet uh, sent another values so for example here zoom start changing all right, so now we are sure that the packets that I'm receiving is the correct packets on COM port 1. So now I'm going to new project. It's a just empty new project that I created for test. So we need just a minute for running the project file there we go so here we need technocrane camera I just put into the scene so we have it here and if we connect and go live we will see the values right now and also we see that this is the calibra calibrated zoom and focus and this is the raw values if we go to the project settings and there are settings regarding the technocrane tracker this is the space scale this is the default port when you create a new camera this value will be by default and also packets contains raw and calibrated data this is the trick that was used for special version of desktop technocrane when you want to have in unreal engine calibrated data but for some applications you want to still receive raw data to get to, to have this data all together there is a special version of desktop all right so we have these values here we see that they are changing now if we want to apply them on our camera I think they are not connected right now 
No, they are connected. So we have focal lens, which is changing. And the focal method could be the tracking value, I think. Like we have focus distance and focal lens. Or maybe it should be kind of manual value. So yeah, we're changing these values. So now this manual focal focal distance is also changing. And it should be used and should be the same value as we have in our uh, real Technocrane camera. Yeah. But perhaps we need to set up closer to original lens uh, settings. And maybe this one as well to choose the closer to original of sensor wide and height. But yeah, all the values are changing here and we can uh, put a space scale if needed, if we need another yeah, scale value. This one Techno Crane Prometric uh, Animated Crane. We need to put here the target component to connect with the Techno Crane camera and then position in space. So you see that it's using the track value as well. But then uh, if the camera right now is from the zero, if I put the camera into zero, so they should be in, in the same relative space. Uh, it's better to parent them to the same, uh, to one parent object, parent together, so that if you want to move to have Technocrane camera offset and rig offset to have the same values and that will be the corresponding values that uh, we have in real world otherwise they will have different offsets so it will be a little bit of disequilibrium. yeah that's actually it what I was trying to show the way how to uh, see a packets data and then how it's then changing the camera and how to connect to rig. Uh, hope the information is useful. Uh, yeah, cinematic viewport. There was a way how we can just make close to game view. Yeah. So we still have. We can. Can we have a look from the camera? Yeah, we still can have a look from the camera. But we also see a crane. Thanks for watching. Hope the video is helpful. See you. Bye.